Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I created this feminine and girly look for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. I'm gonna start out with my favorite foundation, which is by RMK. I am in the shade 02. I always use this one. I just recently tried the Makeup by Mario foundation that everyone is raving about on TikTok. And I have to say, nothing beats this. It is so fresh and light, and I love how it leaves my skin feeling not sticky at all. I don't even really need to use powder unless I want that more of like a matte look. I already applied sunscreen, so that's already done. I also never really apply. Let me show you guys. It like blends into the skin so beautifully. I love this foundation. It's literally the best. And I have combination skin, so it works for the drier and the more oily parts as well. I'm also still healing from a sty, which I know I probably shouldn't be putting on makeup, but I am really close to the end of it. So I blend it in ever so slightly into my forehead. And then I go in with concealer. I use the Kosas one. A lot of people are complaining about it having a moldy smell. Luckily, I do not have that issue, maybe because I live in San Francisco and it's colder. This color is way too dark for me, but I bought this during the summertime, so. I gotta work with what I have. Apply it on areas I need to. And I kind of let that sit for a little bit while I apply contour. The contour that I use is this one by Merit. I love it, it's so creamy. I usually use cream-based products only because I have been on Accutane a couple of times and this is the only thing that, like the only kind of products that doesn't look flaky on my skin. So I usually apply it while I look straight in the mirror so I can kind of see where I want it. Like you see my cheekbone shadow right here. So I'm just gonna apply it right there. And then on my chin, of course, just like that. And then I blend that out. And to make sure that it's really blended, I usually use a side where I apply my foundation and I kind of just dab. So now that the bronzer is blended, I blend my concealer. So I blend that. Blend it upwards. For hair, I actually just use my fingers. And the thing I love about the Kosas concealer is that it is so blendable. I really do love it. Um, look at that, voila. Dark circles are gone. This one may be a little harder because of the Now I'm going in with blush and I have been seeing the under eye blush look. It's very popular in like Korean makeup, so I really wanna try that today. I'm gonna to be using this blush by Amuse and this is in the shade Pink Toast. It's so pretty and it looks like my natural blushing color, so I really love it. So what I've been seeing people do is kind of like apply it here. It's horrible, I will reapply. So, 
looks like. Oh my god, that looks like a heart. <laughs> okay. People do it. It blends in so beautifully into the skin, this blush, that I, I really do love it. So once I have on my base, I put on some setting spray. I'm going to be using the one by Bubal. I think that's how you say it. It's a Korean product. It smells amazing and I really love it. So. It smells amazing and it's great. This is what it looks like. Now onto the brows. I am using the NYX Cosmetics The Brow Glue in Taupe. If you guys have seen my Instagram, you know that I love this stuff and I don't really fill in my eyebrows typically, so this is what I use. to my favorite part which are the eyes i don't typically do my eye makeup i just kind of put on mascara and call it a day but since this is a feminine look i am going to be using a charlotte tilbury palette this is the palette it has all the pretty pinks I'm taking this color i'm just applying it onto my lids it's much more pink than it looks bit of pink just so my eyes look bigger and they look like they're sparkling when I look into my boyfriend's eyes. I'm using the NYX Ultimate Glow Shots. These are really pretty. So I go in with my angled brush and I take a little bit of this product Next is brown eyeliner. It is a more feminine look, so I feel like brown is just softer and less harsh. I love black eyeliner for day to day, but since this is like, again, like girly vibes, I wanna do a brown eyeliner. I don't typically curl my lashes because growing up my mom always told me that the more I curl it, the straighter it's gonna look, which I think is just her scaring me again. But I typically, luckily have pretty curly eyelashes or I just have wavy hair, so my lashes stay up. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this heroin um, mascara that everybody uses, all my Asian, all my Asian girls. Shout out to Issa for putting me on to this. I used to use like all these different types of mascaras and they always transfer under my eye which is probably my biggest pet peeve when it comes to makeup because I look like I'm walking around like a raccoon. So now we're going in with this mascara. Oh, before I forget, my mom taught me to put on a primer. So this one is by Lancome. It is called their Booster XL. I don't really know what it does, but I trust my mom that it's good for me. You just put like a layer on. She says it, it protects my lashes, so I don't know. They're not falling out yet, so I have no complaints. Now going in with this mascara. It makes a world of a difference. After mascara, this is what it looks like. The blush under the eyes is really growing on me. I love how it makes my face look. I'm gonna start doing this from now on. I am going in with a lip liner first, of course. This one is by Rare Beauty, and it is in the shade Fun. Next 
thing that I'm going to add onto my lips is this Chanel lip crayon. So this is the final look. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.